2022 was my first year that I entirely focused on making YouTube videos. That means no other full-time work, no other commitments, and no other projects, for the most part. And in that year, I made a total of 49 videos, 26 shorts, and 6 live streams on two separate channels. I monetized one of them and learned what the most important factor is to make it as a creator. Hi, my name is Valentin, and after over a decade as a filmmaker, I'm now building a community with creators to explore sustainable ways to grow in the creator economy. One thing that influenced the start of the year was a book called The 12th Week Year. It tries to capture the spirit of a new year and the renewed energy it brings more than once a year. So instead of having a year with 12 months, like everyone else, it tells you to split into multiple 12 week periods. That way you have multiple chances to start fresh and finish out some old tasks. That idea did help me to get started and stick to some of my biggest goals. One of which was to host a virtual meetup for people like me, who are on the path to becoming creators. And the biggest surprise of it was that one of my mentors accepted the invitation to join the chat. It also motivated me to commit to 28 days of daily uploads on my D&D channel, which led to some unexpected success later on that year. But ultimately, if you're not working in a team and don't have anyone reinforcing that idea, it is hard to respect boundaries for an artificially set year and keep repeating a really ambitious task list. What made this whole endeavor possible was a government-funded program here in Austria that supports people who want to transition from employment to self-employed. Being in that program, it gave me the financial stability to focus on nothing but my channels. And B allowed me to take all kinds of classes to become a better entrepreneur, ranging from classics like accounting to GDPR compliance to how to get good press. On a practical level, it allowed me to attend different kinds of workshops that are all relevant to starting a business. But unexpectedly, the most important part of it was to be in a room with other people who are building businesses. This enabled a low friction way of learning from peers and gave me an insight into a variety of business models. And it made me realize that creators can learn a lot, not just from traditional media, but even more so from startups. Now, even with that safety net in place, my goal was to get monetized before July, which was an idea that came out of that 12 week year framework. But in hindsight, it is something that shouldn't have been a priority. Cause that one goal that I had no direct control over caused so much friction and anxiety and led me to make poor decisions. I ended up following a lot of current advice on how to grow a channel quickly and focus on retention hacks. While that did lead me to try a lot of things and experiment a lot, it made me focus way too much on metrics and not enough on the process of creation. And instead of taking a break and taking time to think about what matters to me, I kept trying to hack my way to success. And spoiler, none of these led to a massive audience growth. The success I was seeking came eventually and unexpectedly. One of my older videos about D&D, something that I uploaded over a year ago, maybe the third or fourth video in total that I ever published, suddenly gained attention and went from a couple hundred views to a couple hundred thousand views in a matter of days, making me eligible for monetization in about a week or so. I did nothing to promote this video and I didn't even upload consistently on that channel at the time. But with my daily video experiment from early in the year and a few pieces of content since then, I had built a library on the channel that allowed people to go from watching one video the algorithm recommended, for whatever reason, to choosing another video from that channel to watch next and maybe even another. That newfound success made me change priorities completely, and I pretty much exclusively focused on making content for the now monetized D&D channel, while pretty much neglecting this channel here, where I try to share what I learned about the creator economy. Now that I had 3000 or so subscribers and a newfound confidence, the first email started to come in for collaboration opportunities. I got sent some D&D supplements to review, got asked to talk about an online tool for game masters, and even got asked to help with some game development, which all sounded really exciting. But figuring out which of those opportunities to act upon 
and which ones are not worth the time is probably one of the hardest things to learn, as it is really tempting to just say yes to everything. But it's not always clear if that is going to be time well spent and if that is something that benefits the audience. The one opportunity it gave me that I was genuinely excited about was a collaboration with a German company that makes laser cutters. It is something that I've been wanting for years and now I got to test their complete package for an extended period of time with no strings attached. I made a bunch of things with it and obviously made a video about that with an affiliate link that has a significant revenue potential and is absolutely in line with what the channel is about. At the end of the year, I was confident in consistently making videos for the D&D community and started to reevaluate how to move forward with Creative Ties, as it has become a really difficult relationship with this channel. But the thing that keeps me motivated to publish videos about my experience is the group of people I met along the way. Thanks to Matt's master YouTube course, I've made a bunch of online friends who are really the key for my tenacity and confidence in being able to continuously grow my channels to a point where they enable more opportunities and give me financial flexibility. Since May 2021, I've had daily conversations with creators, asynchronously in video chat and in person. And those shared experiences are the fuel for the fire that keeps the engine going. Only because I've heard so many different success stories and have a way to bounce ideas off others am I able to stay motivated and encouraged to press publish. I truly believe that building meaningful relationships is the most important aspect of creating content online. And to that point of making money, I have finally received my first AdSense payment. While I reached a threshold months ago, it took a bit longer because of tax paperwork and verification delays. But now I can tell you that my first payment from YouTube AdSense was 405 euros. That was roughly for four months. And yeah, it gets a bit tricky in the details, but you could say that so far I made about 100 euros per month from AdSense alone. In addition to that, I also receive donations from digital products that I offer. And in the future, I hope to build up more income from affiliate sales. But the one thing I want to dive deeper into on this channel is community. How do you bring people together to forge friendships and to shape the creator economy for long term success? If this is something that you're interested in, I'm sure you know what to do. And if you have any questions about anything in particular, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer all the questions. But with that out of the way, I thank you so much for watching and it's time to create.